So in this video we're looking at the SEC Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 2 Question 4 and the year is 2019. So the first part of it is asking us to show that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So a nice little identity to begin with. So you could either start with manipulating the sine squared theta or manipulating the cos 2 theta and try and make it look like the right hand side. I'd probably start working with the cos 2 theta. So going to your log tables and we're working with trigonometry so you'll be looking at page 13 onwards we're looking for cos 2 theta. Okay, Cos 2 theta is equal to cos well it's cos 2 alpha but we can exchange the alpha for theta is cos squared uh, a minus sine squared a and excuse me it's a not uh, alpha so it's cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a but that a could be replaced with theta so we can write this bit as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta okay when you have cos squareds and sine squareds when both of them are present it's very common that would you would end up using this cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to one so try bring all the sine squareds thetas to one side so we get cos squared theta minus sine squared theta plus two sine squared theta is equal to one cos squared theta and it's you could think of this as minus 1x plus 2x you would get plus x so what this one would be is sine squared theta is equal to 1 and as that's on page 13 in the log tables right there we can say that's the question finished so we're saying QED to finish it off And that's the question done, so a lovely question to begin with. second part of the question is a little bit strange and um, confused a lot of people to begin with. So find the cosine, so we're looking for the cos of the acute angles. We're looking for the cos of this angle, theta. So cos theta is equal to question mark. Between the two diagonals of a cube. Okay, so we know it's a cube. So we can describe all the sides as being the same length. So you could describe that side as being x and that side as being x and this side as being x. What we want to find is this length here and this length here. We know this length is x here. These two red lines they're the same length because diagonals of a cube um, bisect each other. So if I could find this red line, I would automatically know this red line. And I'd be able to use the cosine rule. Okay, well the red line here is equal to half this purple line. So looking at the purple line, how do I find the purple line? I would need the this green line and this blue line. So how do you find the blue line is the real question. Let's call it Y. Well looking down here we have a triangle on the base which is length Y along here, X along here and X along here. Okay so let's use that triangle to begin with. X x y so y squared is equal to x squared plus x squared y is equal, y squared is equal to 2 x squared y is equal to the square root of 2 x squared you can split that apart and go to square root of 2 square root of x squared y is equal to square root of 2 x okay so then looking at the second triangle okay 
Um, and let's call the purple length Z. Y, X, Z. But Y is equal to root 2X. So Z squared is equal to X squared plus root 2X squared. Z squared is equal to X squared plus root 2 by root 2 is 2. X by X is X squared, so 2X squared. Z squared is equal to 3X squared. And similarly to here, we can go Z is equal to the square root of 3x. Okay, so what's the red length then? Well, the red length is a half of red is equal to a half of z. Red is equal to multiply this by a half. Root 3 over 2x. And that's also root 3 over 2x root 3 over 2x. Okay, so now what do we have? We have a triangle with one length being x. These are two red lengths. Root 3 over 2x. Root 3 over 2x. And I want to find that angle here, theta. Okay, so if this is what I'm looking for, I'm not even looking for the angle, I'm looking for the cos of it. So a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine theta. And I want to find the cos of theta. It's, may, it's really important that these two are opposite each other in the triangle. So I'm going to get x squared is equal to, then it doesn't matter what falls in next, root 3 over 2 x squared, no, nope. x squared plus root 3 over 2x squared minus 2 root 3 over 2x root 3 over 2x cosine theta and start multiplying it out x squared how do we multiply fractions top by top bottom by bottom so how do we square fractions when well, you're multiplying it by itself so it's top by top, bottom by bottom again. Root 3 by root 3 is 3. 2 by 2 is 4. x squared, exact same thing. 3 over 4 x squared minus 2. Root, th no, root 3 by root 3 is 3. Over 4 x squared cos theta x squared is equal to 6 over 4 x squared minus 3 over 2 x squared cos theta. This could be simplified as well. The 6 over 4 could be simplified to 3 over 2. Let's replace that with 3 over 2. x squared minus 3 over 2 x squared is equal to minus 3 over 2 x squared cos theta x squared minus 3 over 2 would be minus a half x squared, but you could put that into your calculator, 1 minus 3 over 2 if you want. Um, minus 3 over 2 x squared cos theta. Divide both sides by x squared. Now I know I can divide, remember x is not equal to 0. Why is x not equal to 0? Because x represents the sides of it, of the square and if x was 0, well, we wouldn't have the a cube at all. So x is not equal to 0. And I'm worried about doing that because I just don't want to divide by 0. Because if I divide by 0, the world will expl explode. So being really careful with dividing by any unknown cos theta. Multiply both sides by 2. Minus 1 is equal to minus 3 cos theta. Divide both sides by minus 3 cos theta is equal to a third. And that's what the question is asking for. Find the cosine of the acute angle in the middle. That's it there. Okay, let's look at the marks quickly for the question. 10 marks going for the first one. Quite a nice question, quite a nice 10 marks. You should be pretty happy with that. To be honest, a lovely trig question all around. 
nice and short video is over in 10 minutes so yeah nice and short nice and quick um, and second part of it 15 marks going for it so a little bit longer question a little bit more time for it but you know what overall a good question and um, i hope you found the video useful